I'm Margaret from Just Needs Paint. Welcome to my laundry room. This is where my water heater lives. Today I wanted to share with you why you might want to consider using a push to fit water heater connector. And we're gonna go over five different reasons why you might wanna do this and then we'll go over each one in detail. The first one is it's super fast and super quick to disconnect and move your water heater when needed. Second, this style fitting can work with so many different kinds of supply lines. Third, it reliably seals off the connection. The next one is that it has all brass construction so it can handle the high temperatures coming out of your water heater. And fifth, and this might be the best one of all, is that this kind of fitting requires no plumbing experience. Let's get started. The first item on our punch list is that you can quickly and easily move your water heater when it's necessary. You can use the disconnect clip as long as you can quickly and easily find it and then disconnect it and move the water heater. And why would you need to do this? Perhaps you're like me here where you have to replace your anode rod every three to five years and then you don't have enough space. So this came with a solid anode rod. This unit is at least four feet high. I only have another foot and a half until I hit the ceiling because it's on a proper stand. So in order to remove the anode rod, it needs to get moved into another room where I have space. Also, you could have water damage. I had water damage as well where I needed to do drywall repairs. Disconnect the unit, move it, put it back in place, problem solved. So it gives you flexibility. Now I won't say that I know which side we've always disconnected. Ideally, you want to remove your union joints. These are designed to get reused again and again. However, there might be reasons you don't wanna do that. Perhaps it's seized on one side. That definitely was the case when we did our anode rod. We just needed to get the job done and move on. So that's what we did. But there's also the case too where it depends on what kind of, what your manufacturer says for your push to connect fitting. It might be that they recommend you only use it one time and that is it. Other manufacturers will support four to six times of reusing that push to connect fitting. Your mileage may vary Ours certainly has held up even though we've used it from time to time, but you have to also consider what are you getting out of this? From my perspective, I'm not calling a plumber. I'm doing this on my own schedule. So I know despite the fact that I could be, I am paying a premium for this kind of water heater connector, I know that I'm still ahead even if I have to go and buy a new one. And you might have noticed here in this water heater connector, we have the shutoff, but it's not an all-in-one ball valve and uh, braided water heater connector. This is because this unit is seven years old and when we connected it at the time, it wasn't on the market. So the good news for you is that there are also all-in-one shutoffs, ball valve shutoffs with the braided cord all together. But you gotta think, even if that's 30 bucks versus the regular 10 one, you're still ahead and you're on your own schedule. Next up, this type connector works with so many different kinds of plumbing supply lines. While you can see that we're connecting to copper here, if we had to do a replumb on this house, we would use Upanora's PEX A right now, but it connects to PEX A, PEX B, PEX C, as well as CPVC. The next item is that it reliably seals up this connection. Now, I don't know about you, but if you have ever had to deal with a union joint, um, it's a bit of an art. And from our experience, we've had pinhole leaks coming out, both in our water heater as well as in our Flow by Moen smart water home shutoff outside, where it's just had a little bit of a leak and you still have to take it off and put the Teflon tape back on and still continue to monitor to make sure that there are no leaks. And you'll still need to do that with the push to connect side. I myself will still 
just monitor both sides to make sure that it's okay. But in our experience, we've had 100% success with our shark bite push to connect fitting. This fourth item is pretty fast. We've got our brass fitting here, which since it's all brass construction, means it handles the high temperatures coming out of your water heater. And last is there's no plumbing experience needed. Seven years ago, we were not expert plumbers by any means. So looking at this, it was kind of a no brainer where we said, well, we can handle this. We need to do the work now. We know that we have a water claim on top of a, just replacing the unit. We're going to have to move it from time to time. Let's give ourselves some breathing room and options. So we knew that we could cleanly disconnect the line. It's, it's easy enough to cut open the line with the correct tools and to put this in place, knowing that we had more flexibility with our own lives and working on our own schedule. Now it's your turn. Have you had a good or a bad experience with push to connect fittings on a water heater? Please share it in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe to this channel to support more videos like this. I've also included a blog post in the description below that has a few more details on the subject, so you might want to check that out as well. And remember, no project done right just needs paint.